Hey everybody, Morbjorn here. Today we are looking at the Breachlight. It is a sidearm that was added back at the beginning of Season 9, Season of Dawn. You get this thing from the Obelisks, either by picking up bounties and doing the bounties. Turning in Fractaline, now with the Empyrean Foundation, with those bounties in your inventory, will auto-complete them, so that's neat. And you can also get this thing from doing Sundial completions. So if it's past Season 9, I don't know how you would get it, but they might add in something later on. Uh, but... I was searching for a max range roll the entire season before I wanted to review this weapon. And the reason for that is sidearms generally uh, don't play as well as they do on console. So I thought, hey, maybe if I get a max range roll, it might play more like a hand cannon and I can get away with using a sidearm. Not really the case. And um, I'll go over that here as the video goes on. But I've got a range masterwork, I've got hammer forged rifling, and I've got accurized rounds. Now, I wanted Demolitionist or Outlaw, and I wanted a multi-kill clip, but I got a roll with what I got. I've been literally farming for this thing the whole season, and I finally got something with a max range roll. But the max range on this isn't really all that great, and plus there's something I think fundamentally wrong with the Breach Light. So we are at, in this little test environment here, the, the whatever you want to call this place, I forget what it's called. But we're at just 18 meters, right? So we're at 1726, which is the maximum damage that this sidearm can do. And if we back up just a smidgen, we are at its max range. So its max range is 18 meters, which isn't a whole lot, especially comparing to even 180 RPM. Hand cannons are the more popular. 150s now have about, oh, nearly double that. Not quite, but close. Um, kind of like this Waking Vigil right here. But anyway... Uh, another thing that I think is fundamentally wrong with this weapon, and it's kind of the more of the game in general. So if, we, if we're doing maximum damage, 1726 per headshot, and you just saw it there. If I hit fire from the same distance, it does less damage. And that's because the range is calculated, including the weapon zoom, when you aim down sights. And even though this thing has basically iron sights on it, it does still zoom in a little bit. And so when you hip fire, you have less range. And with a sidearm, that shouldn't really be an issue, um, especially because I do have hip fire grip on this weapon. And this might be part of the problem that I'm about to show you as well. But you'll see here, I'm going to hip fire, and this thing is incredibly stable and easy to control. Even at like maximum rate of fire, I'm basically just spam clicking this thing, and it's very easy to stay on target. And now I'm going to aim down sights. This thing is bouncing all over the place. It is damn near impossible to hit a double headshot with this thing aiming down sights. Um, so you have to basically hip fire it to be able to hit a double headshot. The only problem with that is, is that reduces the range a whole hell of a lot. So we're at 1726, 1726, 1726, and we're... Mm. There, there we hit one. We hit one max range shot, and that's 15 meters. 15 meters is nothing. You can easily slide into shotgun range of that. Uh, SMGs have much higher range than that. We're going to get into some gameplay, and then we'll come back into this test environment, and I'll show you exactly how underpowered this sidearm actually is. All right, so finally some gameplay using this sidearm. So what you're going to see in this gameplay, and this is post-commentary, by the way, not live commentary. Uh, a lot of sweaties. A lot of sweaties today uh, queuing up for Crucible, so I had to concentrate on playing the game rather than concentrate on trying to have a conversation with you all while playing the game, because I wanted to not suck. So, on the enemy team here, there's a lot of unbroken players. There's a lot of people just sweating their little hearts out, like it's the MLG Grand Finals 2020, and they're playing for a million dollars. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the way that Destiny 2 is right now. Um, so if you're trying to use something that you haven't used before, Good luck. You're going to just get absolutely pooped on by Mr. Pepega Aim here that's unbroken using his spare rations that he has not unequipped since last season. It's the way that it is. And it sucks. I really wish that uh, the meta would dissolve or diversify or something. Uh, but right now, what I'm saying here, uh, short and sweet, is that the sidearms in general, besides the exotics that have their own kind of meme theme to them, like the Rat King... Uh, just being an absolute beast when uh, you have a fire team of six rolling with it, uh, going invisible and healing after every kill, that sort of thing. That's a meme. It's a good meme, but it's still a meme. And uh, we have, like, the Devil's Rune that has the laser beam of death 
but when you actually try to use it as a sidearm, it's, it's really not that great. Uh, so sidearms really don't have a place right now in the meta in Destiny 2, and they don't really have even a place in the game overall. If you want to use a sidearm, there's going to be a better weapon to use, no matter the situation you find yourself in. You find yourself eh, more like close to mid-range, use an SMG. You find yourself more mid-range overall, use a hand cannon. There's just better options out there overall. And I don't know what you could do to change sidearms to make them fit better without just turning them into a hand cannon. You know, granted you have your two round burst, you have your full autos, you have three round burst sidearms, things like that, but should that really be the only difference between a hand cannon and a sidearm is that sidearms, you know, they have more ammo, they do, you know, less damage per bullet, but you can shoot them faster, or maybe they're full auto or a two or three round burst. Should that be the only difference? Uh, no. No, I think sidearms overall just kind of don't fit the game anymore, unfortunately. Back in Destiny 1, they were a special weapon. So they did more damage, uh, and the reason why they were so good and so popular uh, is back in Destiny 1, when sidearms were introduced, when you died with your special ammo for your shotgun, your sniper, your whatever, and you respawned, you did not get special ammo on respawn. You had to pick up special ammo off the ground. Unless you had a sidearm. Sidearms would spawn with special ammo. That was kind of their their perk. That's what made them worth using. You wanted special ammo on spawn all the time, you had to use a sidearm to do it. But um, now, now that everything spawns with special ammo, and special ammo is dropped off of kills, and things like, you know, running a double scavenger for your special weapon drops so you get three rounds for your sniper, your fusion, your shotgun, your whatever you're using, uh, makes... You know, having go even rolling sidearms back to the Destiny 1 days, spawning in with special ammo, makes that kind of pointless. So, what needs to be done to sidearms to make them more useful? Their answer is, I don't think there is anything to do to make them more useful. Granted, you know, you can equip a sidearm uh, and try to outplay some people and laugh your ass off when you actually manage to get a couple kills with it. Uh, but that's really the only, the only good thing about a sidearm is... You know, saying that you outplayed somebody with an unbroken title using a sidearm. And unfortunately, that's, uh... That might fit the bill for a game that's more of a meme, but when people treat Destiny 2 like it's uh, MLG Grand Finals and they're playing for a million dollars, it can get frustrating using something like that. But you see here, I'm at the top of my team, and I'm using mainly a sidearm. I pull out my fusion every now and then, but it's not an air until. It's not something that's going to map people, but it is a backup plan fusion rifle, so it can get the job done. But, uh, yeah, let's hop into that testing environment again, and I'll kind of go over the ranges to kind of just put the nail in the coffin of, on the subject and uh, wrap up the video. Okay, so we are back in our little test environment after that Crucible match, and I just want to kind of go over some ranges and things to kind of reinforce... Uh, what I was talking about there, how sidearms just do not have a place right now in the game. So, the maximum range, as we went over earlier, with this sidearm is about 18-ish meters. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less. Uh, let's let's see here, there, there we have, we have the max range, and we are at 17 now. It was 18 earlier, but, you know, the game is a little bit weird. Sometimes that ogre twitches a little bit, and it kind of changes my range. Uh, but... So we're at the max range here, getting 1726 to the dome with that. And we have my Waking Vigil, which my Waking Vigil does have an opening shot on it. Um, but I do have a hand cannon that's a 150 that has more range than this. Um, well, we can even go to Sure Shot if we want to, but that's going to decrease my stability and handling. Uh, but anyway, Ricochet Rounds, opening shot, range masterwork. It's a pretty damn good Waking Vigil. And its damage, 2065, that's its max damage, right? We're going to keep backing up. We're going to keep doing 2065 until we get to about, eh, right here is its maximum range. That is 27 meters. That is 10 meters more than this little sidearm that could. And the time to kill on a 150 RPM hand cannon is quicker and, well, I, would, I shouldn't say quicker. It, it can be faster if you hit the head in the crucible of this, but good luck. Um, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot more consistent to get kills with this sidearm 
or I'm sorry, with the hand cannon versus the sidearm itself. And if we look into other things as well that are primaries, we have this little SMG, this Antiope. Now, this thing is kind of the outlier when it comes to range for a sidearm. Um, it's got a lot of it. It's got a range of masterwork, it's got a scope that increases range, and it's got high caliber rounds, which also increases range. You can get more range out of an Antiope, but that's the most that I can do. That's, that's what I got. So what is the Antiope's range? Well, if we do the maximum damage is 852 and we're gonna keep backing up and we're gonna keep doing that 852 and we got uh, uh, right 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 there that's that's his maximum damage and we are at 24 that is five to six meters more actually six to seven meters more than that sidearm which is a lot when you consider you know, being able to close the gap. So from there to here, that's about shotgun range. You know, we have a Mindbender's Ambition, and that's before sliding. If you're standing still, that's about shotgun range. So we're a shotgun range away. Extra. And that's a lot when you take into effect of the Crucible. Because shotgunners, they tend to find a way to close that gap very well. So if you can be an entire shotgun kill range back from where uh, you could be using that sidearm versus this SMG, you're going to choose this SMG because the time to kill on this thing in the Crucible is nutty as well. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the nail in the coffin for that little sidearm. And that's even before getting into things like other special weapons or even bows or any other, any other anything in the game. Sidearms do not have a place right now in the meta or in the game in general. And that's kind of sad that an entire weapon type is completely useless unless it has some sort of a meme or some sort of special use to it. Um, yeah. It sucks. It's sad. There are some sidearms that, uh, that can perform pretty well, but most sidearms are going to absolutely suck. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, you like these little deep dives that I do, getting into the reason why things are good or why things are bad, let me know. Hit the like button. That lets me know. So hit the like button if you like this video. If you're new here, subscribe for more reviews in depth or just otherwise. Um, but that is going to be it. So do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.